the power that elderly women in communities across Africa have, which um, really is what you've just heard focusing on, uh, on Senegal. A, a couple of years ago, when I used to do uh, a substantial amount of, um, of consultants is for the World Health Organization, I had the opportunity to travel to many different countries uh, in Africa. Um, and one of the things that was very conspicuous um, even then was the way research organizations, um, non-governmental organizations uh, were keen to exclude the elderly in, uh, in community related work. Um, the science was so much focused on, um, on trying to almost um, bring to, um, to Africa that which was perceived to be what worked in the North without taking into consideration the culture and the context and the role that the elderly, the, uh, um, the elderly communities in, uh, in, in, in African communities um, um, play. And so I think when we look at some of the lessons uh, from Africa, uh, say the HIV uh, you know, epidemic and the lessons of how uh, Africa navigated through that, I see a lot of resemblance in the role that grandmothers uh, in Senegal have played where they become you know, that vehicle for change. Um, particularly for, for younger people. Um, grandmothers um, providing or facilitating change, which we've just heard, and the grandmothers um, being the decision makers. There's this misconception again that um, it's the men that make all the decisions in Africa. One of the things we've learned from Friendship Bench is, is that the grandmothers are actually the custodians of the local culture and the wisdom. And Senegal is is producing exactly the same result. Um, so from a public health point of view, grandmothers are critical because they are dependable, they are reliable, and they are rooted in their communities. And they are part of the wider extended family concept. And so when I look at the work that, um, that you have been doing with the Grandmother Project um, in Senegal, and when I think of the African context uh, in terms of the value of elderly people, particularly elderly, elderly women, uh, this is a project or an initiative which can resonate with most African societies, most African communities. And, and I think the challenge that um, we need to start thinking of or looking at is how can this model be replicated? How can, um, can the work, the amazing work that you're doing in Senegal be, be replicated so that grandmothers um, uh, across Africa are integrated a lot more in the care and the development of, um, of girls in African communities, 